MCI Pet CT. This is Lucy. One o'clock. She's having the echocardiogram in the office where you see Dr. Casey. She will have the pet stress test next week on the 30th, and this is where you'll come for that. Hi, my name is Bridget. I'm a nurse here at MCI. Hi, and I'm Lucy. I'm a nuclear medicine technologist, and we do cardiac stress testing. So the first step is after the patient comes into the room, we make sure if they use the, use the bathroom, I'll have them sit in the chair here, explain the test to them, answer all questions, and then have them sign the consent form. We put a bunch of patches on their chest, an IV in, and then we actually head into the testing area to start the test. So this is our PET CT scanner. This is how we image patients for their cardiac PET CT. Once we get them positioned on the table, we hook them up to the EKGs. We put a blood pressure cuff on their arm, we get their arms up over their head, and then we proceed with imaging. We do eight minutes of pictures, 10 seconds of the medicine stress test, a second eight minutes of pictures, and they'll be done. Now around the corner over here is where our generator is. This is how we dose the patient with the radioactive isotope that allows us to take pictures with our camera. So this cardiac PET CT scan is the most advanced that we do here at MCI. Our gantry is pretty large, so patients who do feel that they have claustrophobia are usually capable of going through the scan. Um, sometimes if they want to just close their eyes or if they want us to put a pillow over their eyes to get them through it, then we're able to complete their test. So at this portion of the test, the patient has completed their resting pictures, which took eight minutes. In that eight minutes, we look at the normal blood flow to the heart. We are now going to move on to the regadenosine portion of the test. This is the medication that I'll give over 10 seconds. Its job is to open the vessels throughout the system and a simulate exercise without the patient exercising. So I'll review the side effects that they may feel. Some people go through the medicine, don't feel anything at all. Once the medicine portion is completed, they do get another injection of the tracers because we want to look at the heart under the stress of those that medicine. Then they finish the last eight minutes of pictures and that completes the test. So this is the acquisition computer. This is how I acquire the pictures for the stress test. We first start off by doing a quick topogram, and then we do the CT images for attenuation correction, and then we do the PET portion of the stress test. First, I start the images, then I run back and start the generator to get the resting dose for the images. After the eight minutes of pictures, we do the 10 seconds of the medicine stress test, and then I come back and start your stress pictures. I'll start the acquisition, run back to the generator, get your second tracer for the images, and then we do the last eight minutes of pictures. After that, we transfer the pictures over here to the processing station. Once the pictures are processed, we send it over to the doctors to get read. So throughout the test, I'm actually monitoring the patients on this monitor here, watching their EKGs, watching blood pressures, heart rates, making sure there's no EKG changes that are concerning or symptoms that are concerning. Once that is completed, then I actually move over to this monitor is where I do my reporting data for doctor to review and sign off on, and then that completes the test. <laughs> 